my way. You've recently won the Mercury Prize. Do you feel any pressure? No, not really. I mean, it's it's an amazing thing to win, and I keep. I mean, to be honest, I think we keep forgetting that we've won it, and it's only when someone says, so the Mercury Prize, that you're like, oh yeah. Um, no, I don't really feel any pressure. I don't... I you know, there's this whole curse of the Mercury Prize sort of thing that, you know, you won't make a good second album and stuff, but I think it's what you make it. I'm not going to believe anything like that. I think we just carry on what we're doing. You've released your first album on Awesome Wave this year, and you've already touring the world, being compared to Radiohead, winning the Mercury Prize. How was it adapting to this reality? And it's definitely quite a surreal experience, um, especially because you know we're we're not on an independent label, and we sort of made the record. And I think I definitely had the view that we'd release it, and maybe some bloggers would like it, and then we'd probably make a second record or something. But they would probably go fairly unnoticed because you know there's not a massive budget for marketing and stuff like that so it's been it's been pretty overwhelming definitely I think the, the thing that gets you over it is that you are well, we've been so busy touring you don't really get a chance to really think about what, what you're doing because you're just going from one thing to another another country and you don't really have time to sort of um, think about it and to, and to sort of I'm sure, I, I'm sure I could probably freak out about it if I spent a long time in a room thinking about it and what's going on. But it's, it's just, it's kind of just our job. Your sound is very unique and uh, people have been trying to label it, but it, there's not like a label that we can put on it. When we were, you were making these songs, were you aware that your sound was different? From the moment I sort of first met Joe and he sang in front of me, I was, it was kind of apparent that anything you that anything that you were going to do with Joe singing was going to sound um, quite different, and I think there wasn't really the intention to be different. Um, it, we basically just made an album that we found interesting to listen to. Oh, something good tonight, make me good about you. Tonight. You've made this record when you were in college, and you started to make music in your rooms, I guess. Uh, now it's everything is different, you're touring everywhere. What do you think that will be the influence of that change of lifestyle in your sound? Our approach won't change on a second record or whatever we do and we have no idea what, what another record would sound like. And I don't know if it's a question I can really have any real answer for because we just don't know until we start doing it. I, I wouldn't know. And that's always been our approach is to not really have an idea about how something's going to sound, but to be quite playful with it and see where it goes. Kind of like just let it do what it wants to do and then you get to a point where you're happy with it. You started to make music in college with the same bandmates that you are making music now. Do you see yourself making music with anybody else besides Alche? Not really. I mean, I didn't really intend to be in a band. It's, it's sort of... You know, we've, we've finished university and we've been doing the band the whole time and um, it, the band seemed to be going better than any other sort of job prospect, especially being like a fine art graduate. So we went with it, you know, we were just like, yeah, let's do the band because that's going really well. I don't know, I don't know how I'd get on with other people making music. I'm not a musician, certainly I wouldn't describe myself as a, as a musician. No, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just, uh, you know, we all, most of us play by ear apart from Gus. He's the only one who's actually had any real musical training. This is not your first year in Portugal. Uh, you were here last summer. Uh, what are your memories from the country? Um, I remember us, be, us being really, really um, insecure because we went to this festival and there was a massive pool party during the day and um, we're all very skinny, very, very white boys and uh, it was just, we got there and it probably took me about half an hour to get in the pool and I don't think Tom ever got in the pool, I think he just sat outside smoking because everyone was incredibly good looking. Yeah, it was weird. That, 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 is, that is my image of, of lasting Portugal, that and um, 
some a, 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 a huge amount of hash that we managed to pick up that lasted us for the rest of Europe. Tonight made me forget about you for now. Hey, it's Gulf Malt Jay, and you're watching my way. <laughs>